Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another episode in my tested series. Today, we've got the Coped Vic camera lens for your phone telescopic. My friends, let's see what's in the box. All right, friends, so let's open up the packaging, and you, right out of the box, have got a sweet case to store your cool lenses. It is zippered up, and we've got a tripod, the nifty little connector for the phone, connector for the phone and the tripod, the real lens, we've got a macro lens, we've got a fisheye lens, and check this out, there's an eye cup so that you can actually just use it as a telescope without your phone as well. You'll also find a manual that shows you how to adjust and connect it and what parts you need to track down. There's a little screw that lets you find the exact right clamping pressure for your phone. And then this little piece slides so you can find where your lens actually fits any of the possible options. And then they show you how to connect the main one. They show you how to adjust the main one. This is where you can separate the macro and the uh, wide angle lens. They can be worked together. The macro lens can work beside itself. And you can also do a fisheye lens. There is also a free gift uh, if you do a review and send it to them, they will either send you another 4-in-1 or a gift card. And then they've got a cool little warm tips card where they show you how they can be together or they can be separate. And they want to make sure you know that it is adjustable because otherwise you can put it on your phone and think it doesn't fit. Alright, so let's attach it to my Galaxy S9. The first thing I'm going to do is take off my case because that distance that the case would be away would probably not let it line up well. With the case off, I'm going to just slide this over, and you can see that doesn't line up, but that's what's so cool is you can slide this down to get the exact right location for your phone. And then when you're happy, clamp it in. Over here is the adjustment cable, so you can find the right amount of tension for your phone so that it stays exactly where you want it before you screw in your lens. It's awesome that each part has a place to be stored. You can see that they are real easy to keep them in place. There is a good amount of grip that holds them in place. They all have lens caps and they are all labeled. You can see that this is the fisheye lens and it's got a lens cap on each side. Let's take a look at what we get when we use fisheye view. I'm gonna just store those in there so I don't lose them. And then it's just simply screwing it on. And let's see what kind of view we get with the camera. All right, so it is kind of silly to record a camera with a camera, but my friends, that is what my classroom looks like in fisheye mode. Now, one interesting thing about this, you can also zoom in and check out different things. So you still have digital zoom capabilities even while you're using the sweet little lenses. All right, friends, I am now using the sweet little telescopic one, and that is one of those tiny hinges over on my garage door. All right, so I did a little bit of trickeration, and I've got a separate stand. Let's see how much we can zoom that in. We're actually reading the labels off a TV box over there. And once again, you want a tripod to be able to read it, but there is a Netflix logo that we're able to zoom in a uh, combination of digital and with the uh, tripod and we can actually read Netflix from about 20 yards and uh, if it was outside and this was something cooler it would be a lot more fun to show you but unfortunately it's raining right now so we are doing this indoors alright friends so as fun as it is to capture that you can also just screw on the eyepiece and then you can use it just like a little telescope, which is pretty sweet as well. Tripod is pretty slick, but you might notice it's not exactly as tall as you may need. Check this out. If you pull on the legs, it will actually extend out and pretty much double itself in height, which can make it much more useful when you're trying to work with it. Alrighty, friends, so it was pretty slick. Easy to get back in the case just like it was when you got it so that you can keep all your parts together and you never lose anything. Friends, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, or even looking for the link, you can find it in the description below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.